Hi, this is Michelle from Michelle's Macarons, and today we are making watercolor flower macarons. You can use any macaron shells for this, but I use the ones from this video. Okay, so I use liquid food coloring for this mixed with water, but you can use liquid food coloring or gel food coloring mixed with vodka or some sort of alcohol like that. But I like to do it with water. Just make sure you're letting each layer of paint dry. Then you won't get soggy shells. Okay, let's get started. Okay, now I like the food coloring, liquid food coloring from Kroger, but you can use any liquid food coloring and an eyedropper some paint brushes. I like a nice fluffy paintbrush. And I've put links to all this stuff in the description below. And take that eyedropper, put a little water into one of the areas. Yep, and then a couple drops of pink, drop of yellow, and add a little more water. You really want this first layer to be light. So I'm gonna add more water, so I'm taking out some of it so I can put even more water without it overflowing. Okay, and then I like to test it on a shell to make sure. Now, you really just kind of mess it up in there. You know, you don't want this to be perfect. So if you're like a perfectionist, use your non-dominant hand. I do that sometimes, I'll use my left hand if I feel like I'm making it look too perfect because you really want this to kind of have a natural look. So if you mess up, you just go in there and fix it. I do a different amount of flowers on each macaron. So one I'll do like three flowers and the other one I'll have a bigger flower and then I'll do one with two flowers. Then we'll add leaves later to really make it look good. If you're enjoying this video, let me know by hitting the like button below. Now, if you're using the Kroger food coloring like I am, the blue food coloring in the neon pack looks like it's the same as the one in the other pack, but it's not. The one on the bottom has more of a purple tint. Look at this top one. It's more of a green tint, okay? They are different. So I use the one that has more of a purple tint and then add that. Okay, and then you just kind of rough it up on there. See, and if you make a mistake, there are no mistakes here. I feel like Bob Ross. You know what? Our hair does kind of look the same. <laughs> anyway, no mistakes, you know, just happy accidents. Okay, is that even what he says? Then let them dry completely. You know the drill. Then add a second layer. Make this, add a little more color to the water so it's a little darker and then Brush it on the same way, but back a bit. So you can see a little bit of your first layer. And then if I made it too dark, I like to go in there, I like to dry my brush, go in there and kind of mush it up. You see what I'm doing? Like a dry brush technique where you kind of mess it up in there. Then make this color a little darker. And that's just um, purple with a little pink. Okay and then really just mess it around in there. Okay, and then our purple, blue. Yeah, looking good. Make it darker again and add that on there. The key is to just make the first layer really light and just keep this light. Okay. And I didn't speed this up. You really just kind of go in that fast. So see what I did there? I dried my brush off with a paper towel and went back in and pulled some of that color off. So if you dry your brush and you go and then tap on where you put too much color, it will kind of pull the color off. So if you mess up and put too much color, you can go in and kind of take it out a bit. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it to be notified every time I come up with a new video. So now we're making the leaves. For, so for the green for the leaves, I'm gonna add a, the, a darker green, a lighter green, yellow, and then I wanna make it look a little bit brown. So I will just put a touch of red in it. So I got drops of the food coloring on there and I add 
each of those I add each of those in there and then just a touch of the red and use a thin brush for this part and really start light with this you see and 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 make them thin at first so you can add on in case you mess up see there you just add a little bit more each time and i don't usually do layers with the leaves just one is enough for me but don't don't just copy exactly what i'm doing just do what feels natural and go in there and put your flower on and then if it looks like you need another one next to it or three on there add some more but just do look at the look at the macaron and just add it where it feels comfortable like if it feels like it's off balance add something on the other side and just go with what you feel for this don't just copy mine because that's how you make it look really good is if you just kind of look at it and think where does this need more you know what i mean okay here because i only have two flowers i'll add a bigger leaf If you watch my live videos, you know what's coming up. It's dots. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna try green dots here at first. Yeah, I don't love that. So go, I put some pink dots and make sure you're grouping them in threes or one. Okay, put a little on the flower. Yeah, I don't like the green dots. So I'm doing the color of the flower and just, that's too many. See how it just makes it better when it has dots. It just pulls it all together. Then put whatever filling you want in there and then uh, let these mature in the fridge for 24 hours. Then there you go. If you're a macaron baker, join the Michelle's Macarons Facebook group and you can post pictures of your macarons and ask questions and just share with other macaron bakers. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, I'll put those links in the description. Okay, love you, bye.